<laughs> What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're giving away a little early bird spot giveaway in this Jaspies 12 box run and gun football mixer. This is a random teens break, and again, early bird. Buy one of the first 18 spots in this break to get entered to win a free spot. 32 total spots. Everybody gets a random team in the NFL. Remember, no veteran common ship out of this. Tons of nice boxes, boxes including a full size leaf autograph helmet. College rules apply for that if it is a non NFL helmet. So teams that are currently on or teams that play for the longest. And again, the early bird is here. The customer is here, top 18. And we had one little filler we had to do. Donner's Fat Pack 1. Top 10 got in. The rest bought in straight up. So we use the same dice roller for the early bird winner. Paste your name right here. And we'll randomize customer names and teams. And I should put the teams in there. That would be a good idea. There you go. So here you go, guys. Good luck. Roll. Four and a two, six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kurt, down to Corey. I know. Did you see that the guy, some, I don't know where, but some dude I thought came out on Action Network, but some guy. Oh, wait, hard, sorry, what am I doing in here? Kurt, this is the early bird. I was tripping out right now. After six times, Kurt, you got a free spot. Congrats, man. Um, some dude bet $2 million that the Lions would beat the, the Jags today. And I believe it was only to win back like 100000 or something. Or something crazy like that, I thought i seen. Which was like, what? <laughs> like, okay. I don't know, look it up. I thought it was crazy. Alright, so there you go. Now let's go six times here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Corey, down to Barry. There you go. Six times. Teams now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bears down to the Chargers. So, Corey with the Bears, Richard with the Steelers, Kurt with the Washington football team, Corey with the uh, Titans, JC with the Dolphins, Tom Jones with the Rams, Ryan with the Jets, Adam with the Seahawks, Matt with the Saints, Guy with my Eagles, Oliver with the Chiefs, Sean with the Cardinals, Colton with the Patriots, see you later. Matthew with the Bengals, Daniel with the Panthers, Alex with the Giants, Richard with the Ravens, Robert with the Packers, Tom Jones with the 49ers, Robert with the Raiders. Kevin with the Texans and Kurt, your free spots the Colts. Andrew with the Jaguars and Bills. Guy with the Vikings. Adam, Jacob with the Browns. Uh, Kurt with the Falcons. John with the Bucks. William with the Broncos. Sean with the Cowboys. Jeremy with the Lions. And Barry with the Chargers. So if anybody wants to trade... Let's see if I can find the article real quick for you, Aaron, if you haven't looked it up yet. Lions better 2 million. <laughs> here it is right here, Aaron. So the biggest bet at NFL Sunday was a two million dollar two team money nine parlay that would pay two point one million. Oh, actually, he doubled his money. Actually, forget it. I thought it was just a hundred hundred thousand on the Detroit Lions and the Miami Dolphins. That's the bet that came into DraftKings this week. The three and one Lions are two and a half favorite against the Jacksonville Jaguars with the parlay better getting a minus one fifty nine on the money line. The two and three Dolphins are eight and a half point favorite on the New York Jets with the better getting a minus three eighty five on the money line. One of the biggest parlays we've ever seen, and certainly one of the biggest on a team like the Dolphins and Lions. 
who haven't been very big favorites since 2016. So I'm assuming this guy actually ended up winning. Let's see, I'm sure Darren Rodell tweeted that. Wow, I can't believe that tickets for the World Series are only four twenty five to start off game one and five thirty three. I remember they're like over a thousand dollars when it's when there's actual people there. All right. Let's close the trade window. No one's going to trade. Again, Nicholas just got a spot. He was the first order in like over 20 minutes, guys. So, again, I'm trying to let you guys know. I would love to stay and break this gold label for you guys, and that will probably be my last break of the night unless the, unless the hockey sells out too. So, again, you sell this out, which is already done to a le 10 left now. And we can easily break that tonight. That'll sell out gold label. And then if we don't sell out that hockey by then, I'll probably call it a night. So hockey and gold label. We pretty much cleaned out the football breaks minus the NT. Everything else sold out pretty much. Gold label, a uh, gold standard down to 10 left, but everything else sold out. So it'll sell out this break right here. 10 left, guys. Sell it out tonight. All right, here's all the boxes for the mixer. Let's go with this Donruss football 2020 to start us off. The Fat Packs box. Yeah, I thought it was only $100,000. I, I guess I read that wrong. But yeah, if he won $2.1 back, like he doubled it. But see, that's the thing. I don't think he did. But yeah, he did, right? 
Because if he gets back 2.1 million, doesn't that only mean he made 100,000? But, I mean, I don't know. that. I'm sure he won 2.1, though. But You would assume they would say, like, to collect 4.1 rather than, like, you know, 2.1. I guess they just didn't mention that. DeAndre Swift. Yeah, that's a... Either... He's a big fan of either or, or he's just straight balling. And he's a rich... He's a rich fan baller. Right, so I'm kind of going to just skim through the base. There's really nothing there. If anything's numbered or autographs, it's usually in between all of this color stuff. Keyshawn Vaughn. And then some rookies here on the back. So all this here is just base. Which won't be shipping anyways. So we'll just skim through it. Yeah, there's two fillers we have to fill up today, Roger. I mean, I'd love to do it, but we'd have to sell two of them out. Which is kind of making me feel like I think we're probably going to do that tomorrow. But, I mean, I guess you guys can shock me, right? Do it. If you guys sell out that filler, I'll, we were going to give away uh, 50 bucks in each of those fillers if they filled tonight. I can probably push that in tomorrow if that's the case. Next June. Nice. I know. Remember when we were... So <laughs> Not that I wanted to ruin it for you. I didn't want to want you to go. But I was like, man, I don't know, man. June doesn't seem like it's going to happen. And we're already in October. <laughs> like, we're already in October. And we were talking about June. It might be gone by then. Jesus. <clears throat> well, Circa, Circa Vegas just opened up. Uh, no, Roger. We took out two. We... It, when we only had the one, it was down to four left, or five left. But Nick took out an extra four and then brought it down to one, and someone bought that last spot. So either we do one and I put back four spots straight up in the random number block, or we do two of them. But he took out those extra four spots. Yeah, Circa's really nice, man, but it's like nowhere near nothing. Well, I guess it's next to, like, Old Town and stuff. Or, like, uh, what's his name that? Um, Fremont and stuff is, I believe. But I think some cheap, the cheapest nights are, like, 150 bucks, $200. James Morgan. Yeah, I mean, that's a good thing. If you're in the pool all the time, I mean, and you love sports, that's definitely the place to be. And it's 21 and over, so. I don't have to rely on anything. What's up, dog? How's it going, Joey? Grand Delpit. You mean JC, Joey. JC. You're at the airport? Where are you going, man? Huh? Where are you going, Joey? Oh, where are you coming back from then, is what I'm saying. Did you go to the Dodgers game, Joey? Damn. Jake Luton. You were there? Damn, chill. Are you going to go back there for the World Series? It's pretty cheap. I didn't realize how cheap the tickets were. That's true, Aaron. Well, we'll talk about it when June comes next year. <laughs> for sure.
So you're just getting a red eye back so you can get to work on time tomorrow, Joey? Right, actually, I'm going to go quickly get a monster, or not a monster box. I think I just need a regular box. Shoe box. You have Vegas four times a year, Joey? I used to go to Vegas a lot, too, actually. Like I said, before the pandemic hit really hard in, in June, or sorry, not June, in, in March, I was at risk, man. Jesus. I went to Disneyland for, I don't remember what I went for. We went to Disneyland in February. We went to Vegas like a week before the shutdown. I was in Jerry duty the week before the shutdown too at some point or a week or so before that. I'm just like, damn dude, like over here with no mask and nothing when it was just spreading everywhere. But I haven't been there since. I've only been I only went to Morongo. Oh, does she oh, does she get laid off, unfortunately? Or is she like up there where she didn't have to get laid off? Or I guess it's not laid off, but more for load, right? Andy Dalton. Calvin Taylor. Chris Moore. Austin Hooper. Jeff Driscoll. I don't think these are numbered. Nice. Well, what happens when you reach more than six years, you don't get four loader or anything? My, uh, my wife's cousin has been working at Disney for like over 10 years, but I don't know how she's doing. She's been working for a very long time there. Oh, is it three years or less? Oh. oh, she might be fine then. Just base cards right here, guys. Leonard Fournette relic. Jolan Williams. AJ Green. Darrell Henderson. Drew Brees. Adrian Peterson. Dwayne Haskins. Come on, Joey. Shouldn't have done that. You got to know that the Falcons and every other team that fires their coach, they win the next game. <laughs> All right, Donner's 2020. Oh, 
Dude, the Texans fire like what's his name, and then they almost won two, two games in a row. Well, I did good in the Jaspi League fantasy. I, I'm beating. I'm. I'm. I want to say I'm killing Sean because I'm beating him by like 55 points. But he still has Ezekiel Elliott, which I'm like, man, if Zeke goes off and 50 points, he's gonna have to do a lot. He's gonna have to bust like a Derrick Henry today for him to get like 50 points. But I don't really see that happening. So I should be able to secure that dub. All right, let me see. Yeah, I'm up 141, 14, and nine, uh, one night and uh, 90 points. And that's the Tennessee Titans got me negative two points today. Well, Joe Pizzo. I'm going to blame it on you. you. Better tell your boys to handle those cowboys. I also have Kyler Murray tomorrow in my friends league. That one I'm losing by like four, like 30 points, but I have like Kyler. I still have Kyler Murray. I still have quite a few players. I still have quite a few. Also, Pizzle, what the hell, man? I thought the Cardinals were going to announce that they were going to start allowing fans in their stadium again. I'm trying to go to that Eagles game in December. Game down until December, so we have time. Do the Eagles, uh, this, uh, this, uh, fan club that I follow called Green Legion? I went to the tailgating party last year in Philly, it was legit, it was awesome. Um, they travel, you know, to every stadium, and man, wherever they're staying at, there's like a resort that they're staying at where it includes like the flight and everything if you're like coming from Philly, but they always have a tailgating party. And it's like 60 bucks and it has like all you can eat, all you can drink. I mean, it's like every other alcoholic drink and then like the beer is like Bud Light or something, but whatever. You can get mixed drinks, you know, vodka and tequila and all that. It was pretty fun. But they, they're staying at like a really nice place. A really nice place in, in Arizona. You know? So. I don't know, I'm trying to go to that Eagles game. <laughs> Cause Cardinals fans are any better, Joe P. Come on, man. And I'm assuming they lost too, Mr. Wing. They probably didn't even win that. Elite Series. A lot of bandwagon Cardinals fans. I know. I, I would I would assume that there is this year. Especially the way they've been hyped up in Kyler Murray and stuff. But hey, having more fans isn't a bad thing, right? Baker Mayfield. Man, Joey, Joey, and Joey, you guys have the same color icon, so I think I'm look I'm looking at Joe P's message, but then I'm looking at Joey's. <laughs> when do you guys change your colors, please? <laughs> Tua. Aaron Jones.
Sean Taylor. I don't know. We'll find out when he finally gets some playing time. I mean, he has the the arm strength, the accuracy, the mobility. Maybe not the the height as as other quarterbacks, but he's. I think he can. I think he can be pretty good. I mean, he was pretty talented at, at Alabama, so hopefully he is. Also, Joe, I'm going to be kind of in your area next week, but, but, uh, but I'm only going to be there for like two days. It's my father-in-law's birthday. On Thursday. Next one here. LaVisca. Nice, Joe. Send me a photo of it. Maybe I'll let you know. I'll let you know if I'm interested in it for sure. Justin Jefferson. Michael Pittman. It's hooking up with an uh, with an iPhone uh, 12 Pro. Nice. Does he even get discounts on that too, Aaron? From like the Apple Store? That's awesome, man. I guess I still gotta order some AirPods with you, man. Honestly, I've been slacking on that. Oh, I'm well, speaking of Miles Sanders. There you go, one out of twenty-five. Little Donner signatures. I think he got an injury injury today, but it doesn't seem like it's anything serious. Guy with Matt Eagles. Yeah, I know. I know you said that, but I don't know that it works with phones too. So then, what do you do then, Aaron? Do you just get your phone from him and then you take it to like Verizon or or uh, or whatever your phone provider is, and then you activate it, or how does that work? I've always been curious of like what happens when you buy the phones from Apple and not from like your carrier. I know that is sorcery, Joe. <laughs> All right. All right, Barry. I'm not going to say the last name, but... You've been watching some SNL, huh? Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that episode from SNL? <laughs> that was a really good one, the name change one. You guys have to watch that one. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of what what was my favorite one from the SNL one. Oh yeah. You gotta say like this, guys. You gotta say Mike Rodick. <laughs> not together, not too fast. <laughs> you have to have a pause in between Mike and then uh, and then Rodick. go let's do that gold label that'll be probably my last break of the night so let's do it that'll complete my 10 hour shift i'm breaking a mixer barry mixer 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 points little Miles Sanders rookie DK 
Lil Greer. So, Rob, you said Rob's last Out of 99, Stefan Gilmore. Go to Drew Locke. Paris Campbell. Alvin Kamara. All right, Barry, that's where you can do it, Barry. You can do that all, all day there. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's just really the back, but still. People might find ways to, to, to still try to get something. But yeah, it's the back the most, actually. So you order the phone for me, and it gets sent to my house, and I just place my... Oh, dude, ph phones still have my sims? Actually, Aaron, sorry, I just read your thing. So, like, all phones still have SIM cards. Like, my, my Verizon one has a SIM card and all that. Oh, I don't know you can do that. Where the hell would the SIM card be nowadays? Oh, it'd be right here, huh? I guess it does have a SIM card. Right here, huh? Right there. Damn, man. Gotta let me know how much you got the 12 Pro for. I mean, I got the 11 Pro last year. I wasn't expecting to get the 12, but... You know how it is with apples. You just you just got to have the new one every year. Um, it's very hard because people buy them at the retail price, and that is not what they sell for on the secondary price. So, blasters and stuff. Blasters and stuff sell for like almost a hundred dollars a box now. So if you find it for twenty bucks, people just flip them, like Joe P says. So it's completely changed. People now just go for for to make money off the boxes and not even rip them themselves. Oh uh, yeah, you definitely need an upgrade, man. It's also gonna feel very weird for you, Aaron, since you don't have. I think that the seven still have buttons in it, right? No face. No face recognition. Unless your wife has one, then you're probably used to it. But if not, I remember my <laughs> my sister, I remember when she, she used to have the seven. She was like, she used to be like, and then like she'd go, oh, that, that's how you do it. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, what the hell, man? All you gotta do is swipe up. I was like, it's, it's not that hard. That's true, Joe P. I mean, hey. I'm not saying all of us would do it, right? But, you know, like, people that were like, dude, I don't even have to, like, work. Like, not that you don't have to work for it, but, you know, like, I, this is, I, you don't have the job to do this. Like, you could just go to any Walmart and any Target, and if you find these boxes, just resell them online. I mean, it's, it's kind of just like, like shoes, right? You buy a couple of them, you resell them, especially if they're Jordans or limited releases, and flip them for some good money. Drew Locke and Andy Isabella. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, no, but see, that's the thing, Joe P. It's like, you, like, I, like you're right, you would do it, but you don't have the willpower. It's just like, if I found some mosaic blasters, I, I, I wouldn't want to sell them because, dude, I'm never going to find them for $20, $30 again. You know? Like, I know I'm going to get the itch, like, in a week or two or however long I end up keeping them for. And then I'm going to pay full, full, uh, full like secondary price on it and then when i could have just ripped two boxes for like 20 30 bucks instead now i gotta buy a box or two for the price that i sold them for or maybe even more so it's like i, I just can't do it you know and plus man I, why not rip right it's just it's crazy but i don't know i i feel like i'm a I feel like I'm that type of person. I'm a little shy. I feel like people would. I don't. I think I wouldn't. I wouldn't want people to look at me with like my cart full of like thirty mosaic blasters. <laughs> and it's gonna look. It's gonna feel weird. It's like I'm cheating everybody. I feel like it's the pandemic all over again when I'm taking all the toilet paper and not leaving anything for nobody. <laughs> I'm just like, no, no toilet paper for you guys. No water. No, no, no shame with you, Joe
All right, guys. Good luck. Keyshawn Vaughn. Logan Wilson. A one out of five die cut Christian McCaffrey. Very nice. Uh, that's going to go to the Panthers. Going to Daniel. But yeah, Aaron, if you're still here, let me know what, how much how much he gets like the phones for. I might be interested in one of those. But I definitely still need to get my AirPods because Vanessa still has them, and I'm just like, sometimes I just I just want to listen to this music in my head. Or I'm just like, or in my ears. I'm just like, man, I don't got no headphones. So I just have to place one of those for sure. Yeah, you gotta get a new phone too, Mr. Wing. Yeah, whatever ones they are, the pros. Those pros are are awesome. I know they're much more pricier than than um the regular AirPods, but yeah, the AirPod Pros are awesome. someone's Instagram hit right here but nobody wanted a bottom so they're putting a mixer now Anthony Johnson and Ty Johnson man I thought that was gonna be Travis Fulgham right there Ty Johnson for the Lions Devin Bush he actually just tore his ACL Silver Zeke. Miles Sanders base. Very nice. And a little Curtis Samuel. And there you go. How about a little Kyler Murray? The centering looks very nice. Very nice. Sean with the Cardinals. Yeah, they're selling them on eBay. They're selling them in Facebook groups. Um, I mean, sometimes they they sell them to bigger retailers online, like to like David Adams and. Stuff like that, but they're pretty much just selling to other customers around the United States online somehow. But I would assume eBay and Facebook groups are legit probably the biggest ones they sell to. More Facebook groups, to be honest. Alright. Certified. Good. 
Uh, Andrew Thomas to 75. And Chase Claypool, a little relic. Jeff Okuda. Little Drew Brees. And Robert Brazau. To 49. KJ Hamler. Oh, nice little triple relic. Or three color patch and auto. Denver Broncos. It's William. Little Jalen Hurts. 2020 Henry Ruggs. Little Darnell Mooney. Marlon Mack. Um, I don't think it causes less production. I mean, it pushes back production. A lot of these products would have already been released on time for certain sports and stuff. But I think Mojo, if he's still here, he brought up a good point. I think what, what if anything, what 2020 is going to do is the on-card autographs that you're getting in these 2020 products that have released during the pandemic will probably be more valuable than than um than anything because those people actually signed because most of these are stickers or they're all redemptions you know so if anything i mean maybe there's more demand on on the on cards in recent years because of it but i mean they still made more than enough of products as they usually do but it's more like how many on card autographs did they provide this year due to like covid and the pandemic some people maybe didn't want to sign, didn't have the time to sign, and the people that did, well, causes maybe their autographs to go for a little bit more because they're actually live than compared to other people. All right, we got three more boxes left plus, plus the helmets. So we have four boxes total. Stephon Diggs, Earl Cooper, Derek 
Derrick Henry, that man, that so off center. Jesus Christ. Keenan Reynolds. Jacoby Brissett. Man, all the Raider rookies are all like so off centered. Except for Leonti Carew, of course. Mosaic Mega, then Limited, and then the Helmet Ghost. Yes, Mahomes is part of like uh, part of the list of players. It's like Mahomes and Brady, I believe. So I think he should be fine. Laviska and Clyde Edwards Elair. Look at that. A little reactive. So they go Oliver. And there's his base. TD Terrell Davis, Jalen Hurts, little Jimmy Garoppolo. We got LaVisca. And a Prism Silver, Henry Ruggs. For the Raiders. Josh Allen. Kyle Rudolph, Derrick Henry, Tom Brady, that's nice, Patriots edition, Colton with that one, Lee Flicker, Rigor, Devontae Adams, Will to Win, Mike Olstock, and how about a true rookie, Clyde Edwards Elair, reactive with a Colt Met rookie, very nice, it's a nice box. All right, last box, and then we'll do the helmet, guys. Make 
sure I know where the autographs at. I don't do those first. I don't know who the autograph is. I'm just looking if there's ink or not. Yeah, I'll do who am I. I'll do a little who am I. Tyler, you gonna be ready for that? You gonna be ready? Alright, here you go, guys. JJ Watt. And here's Miles Sanders. Should be a rookie as well. 71 out of 99. What a rookie relic. And look at that. Nick Bosa. A little two-color patch and autograph. 94 out of 149. 49ers. It's going to Tom Jones. And limited ink, Josh Gordon. Huh. So much talent, this guy, man. Just couldn't, just couldn't stay on the field. Well, it's kind of unfortunate though. He's kind of, kind of got messed up for stuff that now is like not as treated as badly now. But there you go, guys. Very nice. Now, so quickly. Just a little recap on some of the autos and hits. Nick Bosa there, Miles Sanders relics, Stephon Diggs, a couple of relics. Here's a patch auto, KJ Hamler. There's a couple of the autos here. Stidham, Kyler Murray rookie, Miles Sanders to 25, Chris Moore, and then of course you still have all the the rookie colors. I think there was some nice Clyde Edwards, Elair. There's one right there, Tom Brady, Henry Ruggs. And more Clyde Edwards Eli. That was a good mega box right there. And then you have this whole whole other stack right here. Of rookies, numbered cards, etc. etc. And um, now let's do the helmet and then we'll randomize the customer names to see who wins the 250 points. And yeah guys, if you guys are gonna want to break that. You guys are going to have a little time limit now. So if you guys want to break that, guys, nine left on the uh, gold label filler. So let's break it tonight, guys. If not, I'll push it to tomorrow. There you go, guys. guys who am I I am a former professional football player who was a quarterback in the NFL so I'm not in the league anymore I have three famous nicknames I'm only going to say one of them. I'm only going to say one. Captain Comeback is one of his nicknames. Played for only one team in my whole career. Played 10 years with this team. I was a six-time Pro Bowler out of my 10 years. NFL Man of the Year award. NFL Touchdown Passing Leader in the 70s, 1973. Part of the 1970s All Decades team. I'm a two time Super Bowl champion. Won Super Bowl 6 VI and 7. Or, sorry, 6 and 12, it looks like, actually. Um, 153 touchdown passes to 109 interceptions, 22,000 passing yards, and part of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, College Football Hall of Fame. And my two other nicknames was Roger the Dodger and Captain America. And yes, the first one to get it was Nicholas. You got Tyler. It's me. 
Joe is not Namath, and Oliver, second shot, is correct. There you go, full-sized helmet. Full size. Very, very nice. Show you guys over here on this camera. There's the auto. And I shouldn't be touching this helmet, but. <laughs> there you go. Very nice. And uh, there should be. There's the Beckett COA right there, if you guys can see it. But yeah, very nice helmet, guys. So that's going to go to the Cowboys and Sean. No, I know, Joe. I was just saying that. Shouldn't be touching it because... I gotta wash my hands after this. Got a Cowboys helmet in my hands. But there you go, Sean. Congrats, man. Oh, they also have the the Beckett right here on the helmet too. Box. <laughs> there you go, Sean. Congrats, man. No problem, man. So there you go. That was a nice way to end it. Nice autograph, full size helmet. Let me actually just tag this. Make it easier on the shipping team. Let's just put your name. I know, man. It's like committed a sin, Tyler. So my hands are hot. Alright. So there you go, guys. Nice little way to end the mixer again. And let's give away... 250 points. Someone's going to win that. So everybody have a shot at this. Let's see who gets it. Which team? Roll. Three to one, four times. One. Two. Three. Chargers at number uno, which is going to go to Barry Roberts. There you go, man. Very nice. Again, this was the 12-box run-and-gun football mixture on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Look out for some more mixtures potentially tomorrow, guys. Appreciate it. jazbeescasebreaks.com.